What up, everyone? I'm Rich Mays Lopez. And I'm Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty from Complex Sneakers. And this is Full Size Run, your weekly dose of everything sneaker related. And once again, we have a very recognizable person in the building. You are sitting in a seat, first of all, that legends have come through. Really? Tell me who. Legends. Sharon Dad James. Well, okay. Yep. I mean, do I need to go on? No, if he's stop. Not a, if he's not a legend, Thank you. Stolly, also. Um, Money Kicks. Big, big Money from, Kicks. Bigs yes. from Rockefeller sat in that Bigs. seat. All right. Yeah. See, but you weren't. See the the bigs. Your your eyebrow went up. Oh, they Trinidad all went up. Didn't do that. Okay. I love Trinidad. Please introduce yourself to the people. Uh, I'm, I'm Peter Rosenberg. You are. What else, What uh, do you do? Well, uh, what don't you do? Yeah. What don't I do? I do a lot of jobs. But starting now, what I'm doing is uh, starting April 12th. I'm doing a late night show here on Complex. Okay. Called Open Late. Welcome. Okay. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very welcome. much. Welcome. I mean, I'm. I'm Your colleague. Yes, I appreciate that. How much are they paying you? Not not well. Mm. Oh, so we well, have, like not Joe Budden. We have more in so common same. than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, Open Late is a weekly show. I've been sort of describing it to people as like a little bit of Bill Maher, a little bit of Andy Cohn, yep. but in the in a hip hop setting. We're gonna debate issues. Um, we're gonna have a one on one interview. We're gonna have live performances from up and coming artists. And Sounds thrilling. Thank you. I can tell that you you seem the most excited. I'm ready it's for so it. Can you, is can it going to be lit? Your mixtape. That would make it lit. We are booking I mean, up and coming artists. I'm doing you this favor, so you could do me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll gladly. I'm so, kind of obligated. So here's here's the thing, right? Obviously, I know that you have at least a billion jobs. Honestly, I don't know how you do it. I do have a lot Seriously. of jobs. Seriously, yeah. but somehow you managed to penetrate sneaker culture. Hosting these Foot Locker There's games. There's been some penetration. Oh, yes. wow. Someone noticed that I did the Foot Locker game? I was there. there. Oh, you've been to some? Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, there. Yeah, you did the one with Mellow not too long ago. Like, I know you, and then you heavy into WWE shit, but either way, yes. how did you get linked up with Foot Locker? I, I used to host a ton of stuff for Nike. Okay. All right. So I did a lot of Nike, you know, those private Nike events yep. that are really yeah. dope, but they're for yeah, people like you guys. In, I used to get invited. Okay. So back in the day, yeah. there was a what time. Happened? Go on. Anyways, there are these kind of private Nike release events. So I would do a lot of stuff like that and then just got to meet people over time. And You did one for the Lunar Charge. Yeah. This yeah. is a terrible shoe, just so you know. I know you were paid to be there, but this shoe is bad. I love that. Bad. The record <laughs> show, too. <laughs> the, one with, the one with Mr. Flawless. Eh, not that great of an event. I don't Which, know what well, you're doing. Well, you're dissing to Mr. Flawless? That was, oh, that that was a Lunar Charge. Charge. These are really yeah. exclusive yeah. events that I can't get into. That was a real. That was the most awkward interview I've, I've ever seen. I'm trying to remember the layout for the for that event, but I'll tell you what, they're all... And the, the snacks that night were, you know what, if you're going to spend a budget to throw one of these private sneaker parties and I'm going to be there, the snacks better be on point. Because you have to imagine, it That's costs why he a lot. Goes. The event costs a lot. He doesn't drink. How much do they pay you? They they are better than you guys are paid for this show. That I that is imagine. a wow. guaranteed but, but fact. But the thing about so it not is very much. you're also no no this was these are good. You're kind of taking money out of our pockets though since we do like the sneakers. By the way, couldn't agree with you more. Okay, you also I didn't been, mean for you to get that serious on it though. No no, it's very the, serious. I feel terrible about it. Celebrity <laughs> game at All Star Weekend is that right? Yes. Are we just gonna do a list of things that people hate on me for because no, the celebrity no, game? People, no, this is all sneaker related. Upset about this is the YouTube comments IRL. So get used this? to it. Look, oh yeah, there's a lot of hate. Look at that face I have by the way. That's horrible. Were you getting did, buckets? Yo, so why am I so close to Mark Cuban? Can Mark Cuban ball or not? Yo, I'll tell you something about Mark Cuban's ball. Pause. <laughs> Chill. Yo, he goes way too hard. You know the dude you're See, playing he's with? he's men's league, like total yes. like. He's men's league aggressive. Sweaty, sweaty, I don't like, know what that means. Like up on you, like Dean you up to the point, I'm like dude, it's a celebrity like, game. He wasn't the most annoying player in the game. Me, exactly. Who was? How who did was, you end up on the, the sneaker choice here? The Hardens. They gave us those. Okay. That was a that was a part of the. But who who was the worst personal. person you played against, or who was the most annoying person? I, I you know this is gonna be really disappointing, but he was he's this producer um, who does like pop music, who's who's famous, but I I wasn't familiar with him, and he was just he wore a headband. <laughs> he wore um, accessories to the game. Yeah, he wore. I mean, listen, I had wristbands on, but that was because I wanted to have that, a little. That's bit. foul. That was. But I had a message. It was a point. It was okay. a purpose. Okay. He was just wearing the headband because he had big floppy hair. Okay, okay, okay. Sweating up a storm mm -hmm. and playing. D I'm talking about. You know what, dude? When you first play, you get into a game, you're like, oh, full I might fight. Full disclosure: I've never played basketball, so this is all. Well, that's why I was directing it. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, you played him, him neither. Okay, so let's have this conversation. And I'm not good, but I've at least played. As you can see, I have proof. I have yeah. physical, visual proof. But I, I, I want to say though, that if you're bringing accessories to the court, you better hoop because well, if not, then you just. You I wish y'all could run the video of my first sleep. shot. We'll find the video. Okay, anyway, so go ahead. So we'll the annoying dude. So the annoying dude. You know when you know when you start playing a game, you're here to have fun, and from the first time the guy checks you up in your brain, even though I'm the most 
peaceful, soft person ever. I go, I soft. might fight this dude. You're like, fuck you? No, I fuck really you might. I really might you fight might you with a celebrity. Did you yeah, throw yeah, hands yeah. or no? No, I, I decided, you know what I decided to do? I said that when he comes, let me just back off and let him do him. Yeah. I'm not doing this. But yeah. speaking of celebrity shit, uh, you got to do your own sneaker collaboration or were involved in the WWE, X Puma, X Wrestling, something that you're into. Brendan hates wrestling, so you yeah, may have to- Yeah, what is that? What is that all about? Wrestling? Again, what is, is wrestling it? real? <laughs> You're like the third person we have asked. What you mean is wrestling real? <laughs> what you mean, fam? You about to throw hands now. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? I understand what you're saying. How old are you, Peter? I'm 38 years young. We've established that people who are old. Uh, don't point at me. Don't, Russ, hold up, hold up. Don't point at me. Via hold Russ up. Bankston are actually an older classic. So <laughs> I don't think I'm there. We're using for now. You classic? I am classic. I mean, kids legend me up sometimes. But, really? But you did this. You know, you a wow. legend, B. I've been listening to you since I was and 16. You, you did this you sneaker collaboration. Them. I believe me, I correct. Yeah, okay. so let's bring it back to this. You did the sneaker collaboration. How did this go about? Like, was this Foot Locker? So but again, yeah. yeah, the same relationship with Foot Locker. Yeah. That's a Foot Locker. Yeah, they, they, it was really dope. They actually had a really dope idea of how to use <clears throat> wrestling. And a lot of you people. Said really was, dope. I, I believe it's dope. Uh, those shirts, the shirts that they did are were the shirts really, better than the sneakers. Well, the, listen, the sneakers are very straight ahead, right? Yeah. Like all the sneakers were about was kind of detail, the, those yeah. ones. But really, it was about the t-shirt combos. We did real rare photos on shirts. Oh, yeah, sort, sort dope. of a supreme ripoff, just like you don't do like the Eddie Guerrero joints. Was Whoever that? That, that was not photo. That was. Uh, that oh is. yeah. This Please, is you know who Eddie Guerrero is? Though you also worked on the uh, the Eminem Jordan fours, right? <laughs> no. No, that was no my cousin Paul Rosenberg. Uh, that wasn't you. We had no. the wrong Rosenberg this whole fucking Are you really being serious? Do you still want to do it? You should be sarcastic. Wait, I hope you're making fun of me. Do you still want to do it? Are we got to cut the show now? Oh, God. We got to end this. No, no. You can hang out. You can right, hang cool. out. You didn't but have anything to do with this? No, we're here I now. Have, hold on. Oh. This is a sneaker show. I do yeah. okay. have the other. You have the black joints. I saw that on your Instagram. I do have Oh, he's going to do some research. Joints? Did you, you, are you going to resell them? No? No, I've worn them already. Did it cross your mind? Oh, you are a noob. Holy shit. Did it cross your mind like these are $30,000? Here's the thing. Is that more than the Foot Locker check or not? What are we adding up? Well, hold on. Or is one event? Than... Yeah. No, come on. I'm not Miley Cyrus. It's not like a one day $30,000. <laughs> but um, I, I will say this. I did think about that with the with the fours, right? Because yeah. they are. You know, um, Eminem will watch this. I'm I'm sure of it. So. I thought about so like, well, should, does it make sense to keep these in the box to sell them? Yeah. And then I'm yes. like, it does. And I get that. But like Paul Rosenberg, who is who gave me I don't me even resell things. It's going to throw you out a window when you don't want to deal with right, that. He's my man. Like, you invited me. You gave me these one day. If he ever is like, what happened to yours? I'm he like, asked oh. me where the, he was in the old office and he asked me where the elevator was. And I got fucking scared. That's like all. It's like, a large Rosenberg. <laughs> he's the one you don't want to fuck with. So earlier this week, Don C. Yes. Oh, you do know this. Cool. Yes. Don C's official signature sneaker with Jordan Brand. I believe it's called the Legacy 312. Mm -hmm. uh, off top though, I need to know your thoughts. I love it. You love it. I, that's I, how we know you know nothing about sneakers. That's not, that's fair. That's confirmation um, right there. That's what we need to know? Yeah, is that it? So you, this is the thing Moving that sneakerheads don't like? So, oh no, my God. explain why sneakerheads don't like no, it. No, 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 no. First it's of like all, a, it's like a fusion Jordan. Like it's not like- Don't like is not a strong enough phrase. Explain why people hate the it. The shoe was, the shoe was so Rich bad. Rich wants to say that's something. Rich, first of all, let Rich say it. I want to say, I don't think the sneaker's that bad. Oh wow. my God. Wow, you Bro, really you did it. Tell me why wow. anything to I don't think that's oh, defend your political connects. That's absolutely not, my God. That's absolutely not true, first of all, because I've, Bro. I have, can you give me one second? Can you give me one second? I've had some very, uh, I've had people in my text ask me Ooh. why I'm saying some things about Jordan. But anyway, Rich, Rich, who was it? If, no names. Who was it? If can I, can initials? Initials? Can I get initials? Just give me a second, God damn. All right, all right. First of all, I think what we are doing, uh, we are judging this sneaker unfairly. How? Right? We're putting it up against your expectations of what a Jordan should look like. Not trash. If this sneaker was, did not have that legacy behind it. If it didn't have the strap on it either. People would look at it in a different space. I don't think it's as bad as you guys are making it out to be, but I don't think that it's something that I would purchase. That's what I want to say. And that's absolutely nothing to do with my political opinion. You are, <laughs> the only thing I don't like about it. Do you freelance as a, a fucking tight, tight dude, rope it's, walker, it's, it's dude? Like actually like, not, seriously. It's actually not a bad sneaker. Is that You're a good wrong check? about that. You know, this happens in hip hop. You know that you don't have, just because all the other backpackers say a record sucks, sometimes you can tell them to fuck themselves and they're overthinking it and the shit just looks pretty cool. I just think Rich is smarter than that. Well, why do you like the shoe though? Why I didn't do you say I like it first. Why, oh, no, okay, so here, here's, okay. why, here's why I like it. First of all, this, the strap, which I can understand why people think is stupid. Like I love, That's old, just dope. I love old bows, so I love that strap. Like I'm, gotcha. I'm a fan of the original, those yellow and bluish bows with that strap. Yes. Fuck with that. Straight black and white, like on leather Jordans. I just don't, 
I don't have many memories, like not suede, but just a regular leather Jordan with yeah. a white swoosh, to me just feels kind of original. And I love the Jordan print. And it's not, he didn't do that much. Like, it's just not that crazy to me. It's kind of, the, the shoe got such a negative reaction online that Don C had to post this <laughs> online true. and said this, y'all looking at the scrunched up pictures. Yeah, I saw, I did see that. And it was I like, you're that. doing your I, old damage like control, bro. Me. Like, that's not, that's not. So everyone hated cool. it? Hybrids oh, are not cool. It's, it's uh, overwhelmingly hated on. Okay. But not everyone. But maybe he'll be the one guy that he'll send you a pair because you like them. Well, hold on. Let me say this though. I generally hate hybrids. Yeah. That's the thing. All these things that, but, that but are I like coming these. together on this shoe have nothing to do with each other. How's that? Did you guys like, hate Spizikes too? Yeah. No. Yeah. I do. I don't. Origi you hated the original I'm not, one? I'm not so mad at the Spizike. Came out. I'm not so mad at the Spizike. But this thing just doesn't make any sense to me. What does the Jordan 1 have to do with the Jordan 3? And there's this They're thing. old Jordans? Also, that shoe looks you're thinking, thinking you're thinking like a too consumer. Much. No, but that's thinking like a consumer, <laughs> right? They're thinking too much. Yeah. No. Okay. There's a, there's a big ass swoosh on it. There's Nike Air on the back. It looks like there is Nike let's, Air on the back. Let's talk. This is what I don't like. This is the only thing I don't like. But I don't like the like imprinted let's, Jordan logo. Oh, the Jordan that. One wings. Yeah. It's gonna be heated on here. Let's talk about more Jordan stuff. Uh, someone who is going to leave Jordan. You, someone wait, that you're, 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 you're someone that you have a bit of a you know a little conflict with in the in the in the past. Drizzy. Background on this is Drake is currently a Jordan. Of course. In Dorsey. Yep. Dorser. We still haven't figured that out. Um, and rumors are, and probably confirmed by this picture, that he's going to join Yeezy at Adidas. Stripes. Yes, Yeezy. Yeah, at that's Adidas. crazy that that yes. casual a picture can spark the. Because obviously it's calculated, right? I mean, that's. But the rumors were were out before. For a while, yeah, yeah, for a while. For so a while. that's why this is meaningful because people exactly. are already spent. Exactly. But well, he's not wearing. A, you can't see what he's wearing on his feet, which I think. It doesn't matter a, because a Nike. I think that's a half-ass move. Show your feet. Hold on, hold. On. Doesn't matter though Either because a happen. Nike athlete or a Nike endorsee. I get it. Or whatever, I get it. cannot fucking wear Adidas track. I think that his not Jordan possible. deal is up. I think that's what's going on. Doesn't matter though. But, but again, up. my point is like a Nike athlete would not do this. Not possible. Of course. This is fucking. Of course. Listen, I'm just happy here. we're here talking about Drake's pants right now. Okay. The one, <laughs> the one, the one thing though uh, <clears throat> that we've discussed a uh, few times is you know the reason why. Drake is going from Jordan to Adidas. Is that he, he may, may, he may, may? Let's, let's not get into that. Ourselves. People saying, you know, he's he has a hard time selling product or telling stories behind it. You called Drake out for his authenticity on the God's Plan video, or lack thereof, or lack thereof. And people compare Drake to Travis and say Travis is more authentic than Drake. What do you think it is about Drake that makes him not as authentic or grassroots as someone like Travis? You know, I don't know that I would go out and say that necessarily, but I will. You said that, not him. Okay. But I will say this. Drake is incredibly important to culture and sound and everything, right? Like, yeah. I think we all would say his voice, we will remember this period of our lives. The soundtrack of it has a lot of Drake on it. That's I think, it. I think Drake is one of, I mean, whether or not I love his music, all of it or not, he's a, he's a legend. He's, he's, a le a legend. he's already a oh, legend yeah. and he's iconic. Not unlike yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he's a real, well, he would even, even still feels weird because he's so young, but Travis, though, is the, in my opinion, the biggest influence in music culture, under, underneath it all. Mm. Travis is the true, mm. like, while Drake is an incredible artist who does amazing, makes amazing music and has hits on a level no one can even relate to unless your name is Jay-Z, and even then, by the way, and own this, Drake has more hits than Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Travis, though, is the backbone like of what sound of music sounds like right now, mm -hmm. Travis to me just helps create sonics of the whole business. So I see why people would think he's so inherently authentic mm -hmm. because he's such a creator. But is, is that influence gonna translate, you think, in the same way? Do you think that that carries over into see, the I business of selling apparel and selling sneakers? See, I don't know. Because when I think of him, I don't think about style. Who? Travis. Travis. Really? Oh, okay. I know, I'm sure there are people who do. But for me, it's like, I'm just in, I'm into his music. I've never thought about him. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how big a part of him style was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if there's a Travis, like Travis had his Air Force One, Drake had his Jordan. If you see those two things, which one would you want more? But to see, that's that's an unfair argument though, because it's because whichever one is hotter. All, no, and also we don't care about his opinion because he just said that shit was hot. <laughs> so <laughs> let's just like, let's keep that in yeah, mind. Like, <laughs> yeah. out. By the way, what, do you yeah. guys hate my current sneakers? These are cool. Fine. No, those are cool. Yeah, these are cool. Are okay. They get a pass. Yeah, they're, they're, you okay. get a pass. How many free sneakers do you get sent by brands on a regular basis? Wow, guys, what? Does, you know, the, 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 how many free sneakers? Yeah. Like, what else? What size are you? I'm ten and a half. Okay. Um, That's his size. We should talk. Um, I, it depends. I go through seasons with brands. Like someone's there and they're feeling me at some I saw point. Adidas sent you a lot of shit, man. Uh, well, they did. These, these Adidas PR and I people... went on a nice run of really like. A really good, solid run with Adidas. You were feeling a little jealous, or how did that feel? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I mean, he looks like he's feeling. Speaking <laughs> of Nike, earlier this week, 
This hit and oh, listen, a little backstory here. I'm retired from Steve Years. Really? Quote unquote. I'm retired. Quote unquote. Wow. Um, he's, he's done a good job. You've done I've a good done job. a good job. Right? It's been about. He did uh, enter some raffles on Air Max Day. For the sport. A month. Oh, and okay. he's still getting about, free stuff. It's a little bit more than a month. Just to do it? For more than a month. <laughs> for the culture. Full disclosure, these would have brought me out of retirement if they dropped. So, so are these not dropping? So what happened was LeBron, they're doing this thing called LeBron Watch where you literally watch what LeBron's rocking on the court and then they drop it on the sneakers app, which I still don't even know. And it's all based off of his historical shoes. Yes. Yeah. So this is the South Beach colorway, his South Beach eights that drop legendary sneakers. So mm -hmm. if they, had they dropped these, I would have been unretired and back in, unfortunately, they gassed the shit out of Was that you that said drop they revolutionized the L by, <laughs> by giving it to you before, before the you could even try. Is LeBron the most influential he athlete did, right? in music? Right now, what does that even mean? You say he's in his, his Instagram where he where LeBron puts a he's, record on. Yeah, he and his yeah, and now he's he and shit. There. He's like like the. You guys look to that like, like if LeBron's bumping something or no? no? <laughs> <laughs> but I love LeBron, and it's interesting, and we'll be like, oh shit, LeBron likes that. That's tight. But it's not like I'm like. Oh, he like shit, premiered like the Kendrick joint, the Unmastered joint. Like yes, he was and I think he's coming on the show soon, right? LeBron? Yeah, yeah, LeBron James next week. Yeah, okay. really? <laughs> this is big. You never know. You gotta tune in next week. He will definitely be on. Open late? Oh yeah, I'd love to. Or he's on. You know, uh, the, originally there was conversations about LeBron being a producer on Open Late. Really? But it did not end up happening. Okay. Yes, but that, you guys uh, are dealing with different bags. The worry. best thing that I saw on the internet, though, it references what you said earlier. The calculated moves of the troll king that Drake is, right? Drake is obviously the biggest hip hop star in the world right now and has been for a Quite a long time. The most important a, Canadian in the world. He's got a big run, um, probably. Yes. Uh, respect for Trudeau. Trudeau has no, oh, nothing on him. Right. But the thing about it is, he's going out of his way to troll people on his Instagram by doing Brilliant. these little, you know, little hits right here and on the thing. And to me, that that's like hilarious and dope that a guy at this level would stoop to something that like I would do. Well, but is it simply being like, yo? Nike peeps, you see what's happening? But, I'm giving you a little bit. But, but is this what you want? But he's Drake, dude. That's right. He can go into someone's, uh, into someone, into Mark Parker's fucking office, slam on the fucking desk, and be like, "Dude, this is what the fuck I want." Instead of doing shit like this. But for the record, maybe, he, maybe, and I know nothing about this. Maybe Nike was taking it for granted. Jordan was I taking it so. for granted. They I were think like, so. they're like, "You're not gonna leave Jordan. You have a relationship with Michael Jordan. He loves you. You would never leave here." He's like, "Oh, I wouldn't." Then he should have called about, Michael Jordan. I, I want to talk about my worst thing of the week, and I'll loop you guys in here too. Any. any Anybody who co-signed that sneaker, which includes our guest, publicly, should we? For if you have my number, delete it if you like this. I think Pete I, th Forrester. I think they should take away Pete Forrester's blue check for <laughs> for this tweet. Uh, Jacques Slade, another friend of mine, also said that it was you know not that bad of a shoe. We're not friends anymore. So I have a question. People don't generally respect. Don C. No, no, people, no, no, people that, love that, Don C. It's quite the opposite. That's what I thought. So yeah, I, I, thought Don C. I love Don C shit yeah. in general. Don I think he dope. does a great job, period. So I, I'm predisposed to yeah, like He everyone, has done a great Everyone can miss a shot to. every now and then. Sure. You know that's I mean? how you so you agree he missed the shot? I said, yes, he missed a shot. Okay. Even though you don't hate them. Even though I don't hate it, it's right. a missed shot. For Don, you, you for Don wear, C, right? you no. Wouldn't. Obviously not like Virgil, because Virgil's on a whole nother level. But Don C, everything he's touched so far, gold. This is kind of crazy, though, if you think about how much Kanye's little It's camp insane. Has. Yeah. It's insane when you think about these kids from Don, Chicago. Kanye's like, influence is so massive in massive. all these ways you can't even calculate. I mean, he changed the entire sneaker game as we know it, right? Like, mm -hmm. Adidas was just not a thing mm -hmm. since I wore Sambas in my freshman year of high school. Wait, you? so you were saying that you that made Adidas a thing? I, was, I grew up in the suburbs. I'm white. You're like, from Long Island? No, suburbs oh. of DC. No, Since then, I had not really thought much about Adidas. And then, Run DMC though? You had to think I'm not that old, old, bro. I mean, that. but you're a hip hop head. Yeah, but they busted them out in 83. But you're still a hip hop head. Yeah, but I was four. I mean, you know. But yes, of course I associate them with it, but I wasn't. You like, weren't rocking heat at four? I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. This is the big reveal of my interview. <laughs> you guys, I actually really want to share this with you guys. Please. People think, like my wife's friends, for example, or family, will come over and they'll see my sneakers and be like, oh my God, Peter, you he loves sneakers. He's always oh, he's sneakers, sneakers. Because I have like 40 boxes of sneakers in my house. Mm. And I'm like, guys, I like feel the need That's culturally to correct them and be like, guys, you don't get it. This I'm not a sneaker head. No. I'm simply in in hip hop and have to just stay afloat. That's true. That's it. That's all I am. Yeah. You guys don't water. know what treading. Yeah, and treading. Yeah. I'm treading. Yeah. Doggy, you feel, doggy do, you, do you feel some sort of like I'm out here you're looking saying, like Mike Phelps. Like, <laughs> when, when, you, when you go on the radio, do you feel like you have to dress a certain way or people are gonna think you're corny and not take you seriously? 
Well, it's not about that. It's just if you're hosting an event, like you, it's hip hop. Yeah. You can't show up wearing straight corn on your feet at That's an true. event. Like at least you have to have a new pair of like Lebrons that you like or like. Well, I, I can't get... relate to rocking bronze, but you don't like the last these Lebrons. Uh, I really no, fuck these bronze are LeBron. good, but I don't he's like a Kobe them. guy. Yeah, I'm a Kobe. I, guy. I, I love Kobe's too. So every week we look at what's dropping, and we okay. decide to cop or drop something. Like I said, I'm retired from so. the game. Period. I'm not copying sneakers. What I will buy this week is a new pair of PlayStation 4 headphones. These shits, like, there's like a Turtle Beach. Like, I'm gonna spend some bread on them, like two, You're on your gamer years. shit now, you're moving yeah. out of the sneaker You know what I'm trying to say? Is, I've been into Fortnite heavy lately. So really, so real quick, sneaker culture wasn't nerdy enough for you. You were like, it's time for me to ratchet <laughs> this Wait, shit actually, up. Wait, sneaker, sneaker culture is actually not that nerdy. This shit is super nerdy. Yeah, but I mean- Well, no, no, hold on, hold on. We're gonna stop for a second. Okay. Just because sneakers are inherently cool yes. does not mean sneaker culture is not nerdy. This is the great reveal. So now we need to speak about this. Because if you're, if you're logging in on an app to then go wait online, you're a fucking nerd. That's I nerd. don't care what culture you're in. My nerd. I love all of you. I would do it for a record release. That's my nerdy thing. But what we're not going to do is pretend that just because sneakers are a dope interest, that the culture isn't nerdy. Because it requires. So then, but then, okay, work. okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So then you're saying that any culture that follows that method is nerdy. You cop, try to cop, line up. That's nerdy. That process is nerdy. I believe so, yeah. yeah. And I'm fine with it, but okay. I believe it is, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. I don't, that one. I'm not with you on that. You really don't think someone no. waking up early this in the morning shit. on a weekend to wait outside yeah. to buy or, or to or this your money. I can't relate to any of that. First of all, I'm retired. <laughs> 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 this is your past life anyway, yeah. so you can't even be offended. I you know can't, I mean, I has some Dungeons and Dragons cards somewhere in, in his <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons cards? Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, that's not even a thing. And by the way, anyway, y'all want to play Magic? Hit me. Anyways, uh, going on to my drop of the week. Anyway, this shit is lit. Uh, LeBron took his talents to South Beach. You wanted the South Beach sneakers. I am dropping these fucking. Oh, uh, I thought you were gonna say you were gonna these, cop them. Holy shit! Are these that offensive? I don't. I, I, those are repug. But yeah. the thing is, is that South Beach hit like the the peak, and then we're like, no more South Beach. And then you see the South Beach LeBron 15s, yeah. and we're like, okay, these get a pass. And it yeah. doesn't mean Nike. It doesn't mean you can fucking make more South Beach sneakers just because people want the LeBron 15s in the South Beach colorway that you aren't releasing anyways. All right, I'll end us on a positive note. I have a cop this week. Uh, it's it's kind of a dry week. But I really like these Hirachis with the Wait OG uh, Nike. Didn't logo these drop a minute ago? On the tongue. No, they're, they're coming on sneakers uh, this coming the week. The leather's oh, okay. super nice on Yeah, them. these are very buttery. And the Hirachi oh, hype like kind of cooled down a, a little bit. Let me talk, man. The Hirachi hype okay. cooled. <laughs> you threw me for a loop on this one because I thought this dropped in like fucking 1993, but okay. They're coming. R Rich lost his beard and his chill, apparently, like <laughs> in the same process. <laughs> All right. Uh, I also feel like I lost 10 years in 10 pounds. Before we get out of here, we do want to dip into our mailbag. Julian Potato, not sure if that's the real name, Mother. in response to our our conversation with Geiger about lines, uh, no pun intended, that designers are allowed to blur. He says, let me answer the question why in-house designers are permitted. In-house designers keep the ship steady and collaborations are for adding flavor when the brand seems to be dipping in relevance. So do you agree with that? That these outside collaborators should get more liberty to do these crazy things with shoes? I think so because the brand has to keep it like, it's the brand, like if the brand itself like loses its... You're it's on the same side as Julian Potato here? Uh, yeah, with the with the E. Rosenberg, before we get out of here, man, talk to the people. What should we uh, expect? Do you have anything concrete yet? Like first guest? Or yeah, we have, we, have, we have some things. We have we'll some be on the show at some point. We know I actually sure. would like to do something with you guys on the show because I was thinking about wanting to do a segment occasionally about shit that's coming out. Okay. And Yeah, we're Screen Actors Guild, so just, the, just well, gotta the, go well, through I the I think union. the hard part is, is, I was thinking about this right now as I was sitting here, I was like, damn, then we have to, I'm picking one. I'm not, no offense, I'm not putting all that's three fine. of you loud motherfuckers. Would, the just, call, just call LeBron because so, I'm part of Will you feel some sort of way if, it's like a LeBron, right, LeBron would you it. feel some sort of way if, like, in the long run, that our show ends up outperforming your show? Well, you guys were here first. So I would expect that at first you're outperforming me. Okay. I got some right. numbers. What are we doing for episode? Inherently yeah. rocking better sneakers than you are in every show. Well, yeah, you should be. That's what you do. I guarantee my tickets to WrestleMania are better than yours. I mean, this is. <laughs> I don't know what not, that is. That's not a clout move, bro. I'm that sorry. is. A, see, that's but to me, that is a clout move. No. That's that, my that nerdy passion. Dimension? Everyone's allowed to have their nerdy, their nerdy passion. <laughs> Rosemary, I wish you the best look in your show. Man. Yes. So <laughs> who's, see you around the water cooler. Yeah, I look forward to it. Pleasure, guys. Thank you. I'm Rich Mays Lopez. I'm Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty from Complex Sneakers. Look out for my man's show dropping very soon. Open April 12th. Open April 12th. Late, yes. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a blast. Thanks.